Hi, I'm Joe James. Every year, Stack Overflow does a survey of tens of thousands of their users, which is developers worldwide, and then they publish the results of this survey. What I thought I would do is present in a video format, kind of explain some of the results of that survey. And really, the survey is so big that I, I wanted to, in this video, just hone in on a specific area of the survey, which is databases. And to give you kind of a better picture, of what's going on in databases, I also dug up some of the results from 2018 so we could see not only what's popular now, but also a trend for what was popular two years ago, what's increasing and what's decreasing in the database survey over the past two years. So I thought that would be interesting to take a look at. And also I'll tell you, I truncated my results to only the top six in each category. Now I posted a link down below to the entire results of the survey. You can go there and read all of the results. It's a very long detailed survey with a whole bunch of other stuff it covers. Now what we can see here is that the most popular database is still MySQL, but what you can pick out of this chart here is that Postgres and uh, SQLite have gained some compared to 2018. And the one that's really kind of lost some ground is SQL Server, which is Microsoft's enterprise class server product. So Postgres and SQLite have gained. That was the most popular. Now let's look at the most loved databases. So the top three are still the same from two years ago. Mongo database jumped. That's great. They also IPO'd over the past two years, so they're a public company now. And Google Firebase jumped onto the top six in the list. So that's due to uh, Firebase's growing popularity in mobile apps. In the most wanted category, we can see the top four are really about the same with a minor change of order. But my question is, do this year's most wanted become next year's most popular? Well, maybe, maybe not. But I think, I think what most wanted is is kind of a prediction of really what's going to gain traction over the next year or at least gain some headway over the next year, right? Because those are kind of future popular or, or ones that people are looking at more seriously. In the most dreaded category, you can see that the top two picks there are always going to be IBM's OS2 and Oracle, both of which are, are pretty hard to work with. Those two basically traded usability for exceptional security and high performance at scale. So uh, those two are not very liked among database programmers. And you can also see that HBase and Hive both dropped off of the list. Uh, not because they became more usable, but my guess is more likely because they became less used, right? There are fewer people using those, so they basically just dropped below the radar screen. And in the document-oriented database category, you can see that Mongo database is really kicking butt on uh, Couch database. So overall, the 2020 winners are uh, one, Postgres, because they've improved the performance of Postgres over the past few years, and it's becoming more usable. They're supporting a lot of programming languages. Another winner is Elasticsearch, uh, which is uh, AWS. MongoDB has become a lot more popular. Redis is becoming much more popular as an um, enterprise class solution at, at scale because it's an in-memory database. And Firebase for mobile apps is becoming a lot more popular. So 2020 losers, I would say SQL Server is probably declining in popularity uh, as a lot more alternatives are becoming available that are uh, cheaper and more usable. Couchbase slash Memcache. Memcache is actually the technology behind Couchbase. So both of those two are kind of dropping, uh, becoming less popular and less liked. Uh, Cassandra and uh, the Apache solutions, HBase and Hive, are becoming less popular. So I would say those are the 2020 losers. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.